This Christmas, chances are you won't be getting a big pile of cash underneath the tree. But beyond all the socks, maybe Snickers, even the Suns jerseys you get this Christmas, maybe the most interesting you get is one of these. We got a new pop! Get this pop. Funko Pop Collector, this is actually a pretty big deal. To the untrained eye, these block-headed action figures called Funko Pops look like just a bunch of worthless plastic. But for those in the know, that plastic pop could be worth a pile of cash. Like this one, listed for 3,500 bucks, a more than 23,000% premium on the original purchase price. And three have already sold in that exact sticker range this year. But while some think there's a clause on the cap of collectibles, enter Phoenix Sports Cards. Phoenix Sports Cards doing Funko Pop auctions. Who specialize in more than just Funkos and sports cards. Star Wars cards that are, there's a million different Star Wars characters. Seats from Candlestick Park from San Francisco that are autographed by Joe Montana. On any given day, you can come in and see kids opening Pokemon. Looking for that one in a million find. Those are your typical odds, especially grabbing something off the shelf at a big box store. There's a different levels in hobby shops. When you're at a Target or a Walmart, um, it's, it's great. They have the same type of product that we have from that same manufacturer, but there's things that you can't get in those products because they're sold at a retail level. But it's really anyone's guess. I mean, really three-year-old, I would say, would be like a, a collector. And it's not just your kids cashing in. My guess would be late 80s to create or complete sets of cards having adult money and being able to shop toys adults want their own youth back new data is showing that people age 12 and older those are adults 12 and older they now make up at least a quarter of toy consumers and the industry is cashing in with new products marketed specifically toward millennials even gen xers and one higher up at iconic scooter company razor told cnbc this generation does take their job very seriously but at the end of the day they also want to have fun. It's more about creating a community environment. Whether that's experiencing the past. People want to have it just because, like, oh, I've heard my parents talk about that. Enjoying the present. You have an awful good time sharing that experience with friends and family um, when you have a piece that you can talk about at home. Or making a play for the future. It's all prospecting. So whether you're looking for your favorite character, or your favorite scene, or your favorite thing, Remember to grab your receipt. Buying gifts for yourself. Did you get your present last year? I did. Or finding out you made the nice list could hold a cache of hidden treasures. The value is in the eye of the collector, to be honest. For kids and collectors alike this Christmas. Great job, our, our producer extraordinaire, Hayes. Great to see you on the big screen there, Hayes. All right, all right. so we couldn't miss the opportunity to play with some of our own toys as well. These are some of just the items you could find under the tree this Christmas that could turn into a family connection. We're talking about that Friends TV series set that he also had. Some of these as well, which are Prism sports cards, trading cards. Then we got some of those uh, characters from different movies, Selena, Anchorman, and some of those other movies that you may know as well. So plenty of ideas for you there under the tree.